Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 291. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Amy. Hello, everyone. Hey there, Amy. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Like, this is take two, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, we, oh, boy. If the people at home could have heard what we had to go through. Well, technically, it was a bit boring yeah. because of how this court works. It was hectic. Mm-hmm. Very hectic. Yeah. It's not bad, but it's just annoying. Uh, but <laughs> anywho, uh, how was your week? Well, I kind of bit surprisingly busy. But, uh, as some of you might know, no, I don't think you guys know. I'm actually trying to publish a card game, and recently there's a publisher actually a- approached me. Oh. He's interested with my yeah, he's interested with my idea. So we are back and forth trying to get the gameplay. To see what can work, what could not work, and maybe we're gonna sign a deal. Let's see how things goes for now. Alright, so what kind of game is this? Is this Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic the Gathering? Or is it like Munchkins? Or what is it like? What kind of card game are we talking about? Okay, if you guys are familiar with Exploding Kitten, Munchkin, and maybe Love Letter, yeah. uh, it's, some, it's a, some sort of combination of all these three games, but it's not a board game. It's a card game. Uh, you, you can play in a party or you can play with a friend. In in the in my game, you actually try to create a dessert. Sounds simple and funny, but the thing is, there's a lot of twist. Like you can backstab your friend, like stealing your friend ingredient, preventing them from creating by sabotaging it. <laughs> so it was. So this game is actually so sweet. The uh, I I think the hour is cute and sweet, but you have the element you might lose your friend. <laughs> Like Monopoly, yeah. Another product by Hasbro. No, that is no, that's government oppression. <laughs> how is how is Monopoly a government oppressing game? Oh God. Well, you can bribe yourself to get out from the jail. Can you? I never done that. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway, wait, let's get on, yeah. Let's go into the first news. So, you watch YouTube, right? Oh yes, I'm YouTube. I'm edited to YouTube. Uh huh. There's a new TV. Nobody really watches TV anymore because of YouTube. So that's true. So with that, um, it seems that the YouTube robots have they're derping a bit. Well, not really. They're meant to do what they're meant to do, but it seems that YouTube algorithm added a new phrase in their well algorithm. And the phrase is New Luna. So (laughs) any channel that has the word New Luna in it got suspended. Oh, there goes the Republic. Ah! No. Oh, here, the Solar Empire. (laughs) Oh my god, no. Oh, yes. Oh, here, the Celestia. (laughs) I love, I love the night. I want to sleep. Sweet dream. Uh, but anywho, uh, in, all honesty, or in all seriousness, the reason why this is happening because it seems that there's some kind of thing going on with the phrase New Luna because it mm-hmm. seems that it's related or in conjunction with porn. So people who are typing in the code word New Luna is getting, well, porn on their YouTubes. And in all honesty, with how the earlier Bruni fandom are, New Luna is combined with New Luna Republic. So having that combined with, yeah, not good. So, yeah, not good, not good. You know, I'm, I'm still questioning the idea using a robot algorithm. I mean, I understand there's a lot of things they have to do, but yeah, this is a downside by doing this thing because some videos not related to the adult stuff got affected as well. Yeah, true, but at the same time too, how how would you propose them doing it? Because using the algorithm is much faster and much efficient. But let's say this, um, okay, if, even if you are a legit YouTube channel who does pony music and use the phrase New Learning Republic and stuff, well, if you're legit, you can always appeal and get your channel reinstated. But if your channel is undigit, probably you won't be bothering trying to create a channel again. That happened to me before. Oh, why? Well, it was a long time ago. I used to have... Even when YouTube was still in infancy, that 
and I'm I'm also quite young. I didn't know that there are certain things, the so-called copyright, or maybe some song shouldn't be used. Because back then, YouTube is a lot strict compared now. Maybe nowadays, the, the, sometimes they did not remove your video. They just mute the music. But back then, as long as you put it, they just remove it. Not only they remove my video, they instantly suspend my account for one video. When oh, I have wow. the rest of the video, got nothing to do with copyright issues. Oh, wow. Huh. I try to make an appeal. They ignore. And after that, that's why I'm now in YouTube just... You know, rather than producing something. I mean, I'm quite bitter already. <laughs> You're salty then. All right. Well, super salty, man. Trust me. <laughs> so, anywho, people who got hit are reappealing. And unfortunately, or fortunately, in this case, um, one of our Patreon supporters named Rekotarius got hit. And he got his channel suspended. He reappealed and got it back. So, yay, that's awesome on his part. Unfortunately for other people, even after reappealing, their YouTube account got resuspended because having the title New Lunar. So is, this is one of those situations where even though you're in the good graces with YouTube, YouTube says, oh, my bad, I'm sorry, we derp, uh, let us fix that right now. The robots are still aiming like, New Lunar, we must delete, you must delete, all hail the Solar Empire. <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't know because, like we mentioned before, this is all the robots doing. So I- even if you're not guilty, the robot doesn't know. They're meant to do a job, and that job is to kind of get rid of all the bad ones. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, let's head on to the uh, next and last news for now, and. My Little Pony director Jason Thiessen hints at leaving ponies in new article about his first Ronicon. So, we all know who Jason Thiessen is, right? Well, most yeah, of, us, of course you know, I do. Well, for some of us who don't, he is the, well, he started off as an underling for the show. Um, not really underling. Uh, what did he do in the early beginnings of the show? Um, as far as I he was, know, he, he's he's a director and executive. At this point now, he's a both director and executive producer for the My Little Pony series. Am I correct? Yes. Now he's director and also, uh, let's see, uh, director and also executive producer. Was it? Uh, let's see, director yeah. animation. He also directed the the latest film. Yeah, the My Little Pony movie was under directed by him too, yes. Let's see what the wiki page has to tell us, Jason Thiessen, uh, former... Okay, uh, let's see. He was a former supervising director and executive producer for My Little Pony. He, cre- he is credited as supervising director for season 1 through season 5 and co-executive producer for season 4 and 5. He also co-directing My Little Pony, the spin-off, My Little Pony Equestria, Girls, mm-hmm. Rainbow Rocks, and some of their animated shots. Uh, yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. And well, he does a lot. I don't want to say that his first thing in the, what you call this, um, stardom or his first work is True Ponies because nah, if you take a look-see at his IMDb, he's done a lot yeah, before he has this. A f- he's quite a veteran, actually. Mm-hmm. No, he did Puka. Pucha, Puka, Puka. You remember those? Yeah, Puka. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Puka. At at an ID, and he did the animation for the animation series of Joe of the Jungle. Yeah. Also, Martha speaks and so on. I mean, he's done a lot. He's done a lot. Yeah. I mean, if he's leaving, I'm gonna. I mean, if he's leaving completely, I'm gonna miss that. Yeah. In case you guys didn't know, he's also the voice. He did the voice for. You know the bulk by Sap. Yeah, yeah. For season one to season. Yeah, the the yeah the bulky the bulky but soft hearted Pegasus. Yeah. Uh yeah yeah true true but uh you you you're not gonna really miss him that much because um Jason Thiessen did voice him but Michael Dobson took over so yeah he's all good now. I see. Okay, good for that character. Good for bulk. (laughs) Yeah yeah yeah. But no, I I do get what you mean and. Having Jason leave, or quote-unquote leave, we're not 100% sure because uh, in his article about his first experience at the Brony Con, uh, yes, yeah, yes. he had this whole spiel and 
one of the lines or one of the snippets that people are extracting here is as and as I put my own journey with My Little Pony behind me and look forward to my next adventure, I will always look back and feel proud that for some people, this little show about colorful ponies and their lessons in friendship was a life-changing experience. It certainly has been for me. So with that, it does sound like, oh my god, he's leaving the show, oh no. But it could be his way of saying that, oh, this is not really, I'm just putting colorful words, probably. Yeah. But if he does leave, thank you so much for creating a good show. I do hope for the best for you. If not, we want more. I mean, if he's leaving, we definitely gonna miss you and we really, really appreciate all the things you did to us. For us, yes. If indeed. he's, yeah, if he's leaving. Yeah, that is true, that is true. But for now, it's all speculations and whatnot. I mean, this just could be him saying and using colorful words. Who knows? With that, that's the news for this week. Yeah, but remember, we used to talk mm-hmm. the issues that happened with season 7 before? Um, what kind do of you issues? Think, do you think, remember that the early leaking and then some of the episode release early than other state or country, do you think it might have something to do with Jason hinting or these kind of things right now? Nah. I mean, it's speculation though. Nah, I mean, Jason is the director, he's just doing his job, he's done what he's done. He just want to move on, I guess. Yeah, probably, I mean, it's always good to have a colourful resume. Yeah. Having ponies on the resume is kind of good because, hey, I'm working on a very successful show that has made a lot of toys for this one company and promoting the brand to a high... Yeah, it's kind of considered that at least his bucket list already fulfilled at this point. Yeah, I mean, in terms of if he wants to work for another company, that will be good. Like Emil Larson, he is an established writer. He has a book called Penny Royal Academy, which is available on Amazon. And since Amazon has having its Black Friday sale, I would suggest that you go and buy his book, Penny Royal Academy, available on Amazon. Larson has his books and whatnot, and he is an established writer. And it's always about, well, for these people, it was always, it's always about the money. If the money is good, they'll stay. And with Jason here, I got no idea. It's too soon to say anything. But eh, that's my opinion. Anything to weigh in there, Amy? Yeah, it's exactly as you've been saying that he already did a lot and, and, and he already at least set the bar what we can do in the future. So I'm hoping, I mean, this is assuming is he really going to leave. I hope whoever going to fill in his position is going to keep, keep it, it or do it better. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I mean, maybe it's like you said that he already did a lot. It's about time he, add, he do more in his resume. Yeah, yeah, probably some other Marvel shows and whatnot. Like, we have yeah, a lot of, I agree. We have a lot of people who did work for Hasbro and suddenly got called to do other shows for other companies. For example, is Amy Keating Rogers. Uh, Amy Keating Rogers was there from the very beginning, and when she stopped writing for the show, uh, the mouse called her. And when the mouse calls you, you answer. So. That's, well, quote-unquote news for this week. And let's go into what have we been doing for our week. So, Amy, your week. What I've been doing this yep. weekend? Yep. Besides the whole card thing, what else have you been doing? Did you know that... Did you know that today I'm actually working? Yeah, today working. Really, now? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because my company policy is the last Saturday of the month. Mm-hmm. We have to come to work, but we are more lenient. It's usually to wrap up what we had done throughout the whole month. And I purposely wake up extra early. Okay, my office is semi flexible. As long as you, you, you can clock in any, some sort anytime you wanted, mm-hmm. as long not that late after, I mean, before noon. But then you make sure you work within the nine hours time. So I purposely wake up quite Early than usual, go work early and left early so that I can go to, yeah, so that I can go to Jalan-Jalan Japan. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, maybe you should explain what is Jalan-Jalan Japan to some okay. listeners out there. You know, honestly, I got no idea. From what I can tell, it's Little Japan, Japan Street, something like that, no? That's close enough, okay. 
basically a bit because today the reason I rush there they're having mega sale some sort uh-huh. okay okay actually they're having offer because what Janjan Japan is basically all stuff from Japan uh-huh. from uh from your household item to toys and plushie can be rare they're all pre-loved uh-huh. or rejected ones so yeah I had it there because it's super cheap and today they make it a lot cheaper <laughs> which is why of course I, I, at first I did tempted to say can I skip work today just to go there and I said no 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 no. you have you have to know your prioritize your your responsibility as Twilight always said mm-hmm. so I go to work first and I rush there and I come back immediately podcast with you oh, wow you, you, you're jam packed so uh, what did you buy like I seen on the Facebook that you posted something about <laughs> Aotans so you got that and what else? That one is huh? okay. I am planning to post them la- my two days loot later. I will. Okay. And I will let you. I will. I will take you. <laughs> I got. I got. I got an awesome loot today, and I will look my item and what some people ask me to buy on their behalf. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. So two days from now, we'll get to see what you bought. All righty then. I I will post tomorrow at Better Lighting, and then <laughs> I will take you. All righty then. All righty then. <laughs> So what else besides the whole Japan street thing? You know that since I own a car, so <laughs> I'm not joking. This week, a few people been asking me to help them send them somewhere. So it's wait, like, you're an Uber driver now? <laughs> uh, no, maybe I, stood, maybe I should start charging them. Yeah, you should. I, <laughs> also, this one is. Yeah, yeah, and then it just so happened my company, there's a new girl just joined in and she's under me. So as you can see, this whole week, I got a lot of stuff happening for me. <laughs> I'm... Time she used to everything, she don't need to be stick strictly under the bit. Mm, all right, all right. Wow, I basically I am Twilight right now. I'm a mentor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, now you got your. Oh own. yeah, don't worry. I, don't worry, I'm a good teacher. Uh, <laughs> now you got your own starlight glimmer, and then soon you have your own tempest shadow. Oh wow, who else next? Sunset shimmer. Oh. <laughs> uh, Oh, uh, we already have Sunset Shima and we just glad he already left. But I don't want to go there too far. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well. You know, office, all this mm-hmm. kind of thing can happen. True, 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 true. Oh, it sounds like you had fun. Sounds like fun. Oh yeah, now I remember. Yesterday, well, I'm also super tired because yesterday I have, because yesterday was Friday, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Well, cool, I was cool having, I was, <laughs> I was having Friday night magic last oh, night. Oh, that's cool. We went to magics. Nice. Yeah, because my friend just got the Merfolk versus Goblin. Oh, deck, that was fun. So we, uh, yeah, so we will play until midnight. Then I have to send him home <laughs> and sleep, wake up early. Uh, yes, now I remember why I was super tired. I was trying to remember. I knew I did more than what I'm telling you right now. <laughs> now I remember. I was, I was, I being Big Mac playing all the card games. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. yeah. It's so awesome. I could have. Not because I'm so tired. <laughs> that, that moment, I promise I will rematch in the future. Alright, alright. Hey, are you excited about the new booster coming out? Um, I think it's called Unstable. Yeah, we, we did talk about that last night. Uh, like I said, I, it's been quite some time since I play. So maybe if me and him, we can do more playthrough together, maybe. Yeah, maybe I will come back. So do you know anything about Unstable? Yeah, we talk a bit, but not yeah. much. Okay, unstable is... I'll just give you a general idea of what unstable is. Also, the people at home who are interested in just hearing me banter about this. Uh, unstable is a Magic the Gathering booster pack that's coming out soon. And a friend of mine said this. That booster pack is called the Troll Booster Pack. Because everything inside is dumb. There's a sorcery card effect that once you play that card... You can call someone that's not in the game to help you play the game. Think about that for a bit. Yeah, that's why it's called Tass, the name Unstable. Yeah. And also, there's another card where once you play this card, you can go and get another booster pack and open that pack. Every creature card in that pack is playable. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh my god, it's just, oh, it's just magic insane. Like, I, I I might go yeah. buy this one. Like this is a fun built or fun box to play around, drafting and stuff. Like it's just for fun. 
<laughs> speaking speaking of the deck, I mean we play few like vampires, mm-hmm. and I mean we play Sorin versus Tibalt, mm-hmm. and I I was joking that I'm gonna play Sorin because he's a good looking guy, <laughs> but I don't know how my friend got the luck on his second round, second turn. I mean sorry, mm-hmm. he got Tibalt. Oof. and we didn't come out, and I was like I'm. I'm doomed. <laughs> and I don't know, the shuffling was so bad that I, I have good creatures in my hand, but I did not have land, so I have no mana to cast. Oh. And I can just look. I have a powerful card. I keep looking and I keep coming, say, land, come to me, land. Come to me. No land. I cannot even summon that. my oh, vampire. Wow. We need to <laughs> hang out. Like, we really need to hang out and play magic. Like, um, you, me, Maybe I can and... introduce him to you guys. He keep complaining he did not have friend to play with. <laughs> Probably, probably. Like, we need to group. Like, I do remember Jewel plays magic, and I also remember, uh. Jewel, uh. uh I'm, I, I rem- I'm forgetting the name of the person I, uh. uh Any, uh. No, uh, try not to say the, her. The girl, the girl. Yeah, I know. Try not to say her real name. That's the thing. I'm trying not to say, uh, Ash. Yes. Ash. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see. Y- y- it's, it, it's a bit hard to say the person's name if they don't want to be known as by the name. <laughs> so yeah, Ash plays magic too. So we'll see, we'll see. Uh, yeah, that's uh, Ash's secret life. After he's catching Pokemon, he go MTG. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to do that. He's a traitor. <laughs> but anywho, yeah, um, mm-hmm. that, 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 we should really do something with that, like record video or something, I like, mean for the channel and stuff. And well, talking about channels, <laughs> For me, mm-hmm. what have I been doing of my week? Well, there's a few things here and there. So let's see. One of the few things that I've been doing is that I've posted a video on my personal YouTube channel. And it's a quote-unquote unboxing video. Yes. Those are fun, Yay! right? <laughs> yes. Uh, so anyhow, um, in that, I... Well, remember way back when when I mentioned that I got um pop sockets? Like I, think I saw, I saw your post. Yeah. It had arrived. Yes, it had arrived. So I put a teaser picture on the Facebooks and stuff, and then I posted the video on the uh, what you might call this uh, YouTube's on my personal channel. It's there if you want to check it out. It's youtube.com slash them <laughs> slash Norman Sanzo. Uh, over there, I. Did an unboxing, quote unquote. It was a terrible unboxing. Nothing special, but still, <laughs> it was fun. So I did that, and I also did. What else did I did? Um, I, I'm not really sure. I, I remember doing the video because that thing was fun. Like I don't mind doing it again. Uh, and then probably I, besides the card games that I play now, um. Nothing much, nothing new. Uh, I'm trying to really remember what I've been doing because it's been a week full of things that... Ah, yes. I am currently playing Final Fantasy X on the PlayStation 4, the HD remake. Oh, nice. Yep. Yep. And uh, how do I put this? It's confusing. It's interesting at the same time. It's... Well, okay... You, have you played? I mean, have you played the original one? I played, but here's the thing: when I started playing that, I was a child. <laughs> I did not understand things, and I didn't understand stuff. Like I, I just wanted to use Tidus and whatnot, and had fun with that. But playing it again as an adult and knowing things, I see things like, oh, uh, I can mid max my character here and here. I could do this and that. Oh. Uh, the Aeon, the Sonic Boom, uh, it gives me an extra turn. Okay, I, let's see, when I do this, oh yes, I get an extra turn, do this skill now. Oh, it doesn't give me an extra turn? Okay, I'll do this skill now, and so on. It's pretty interesting. Once you get to know the system, once you get to see stuff happening, you can do things that makes the game very interesting. And I am having a lot of fun replaying the game. And this got me thinking about, well, <laughs> Uh, since, well, when this video comes out, it will not be thanks, it, will, it won't be like Friday anymore, but looking at Steam, they have a lot of games on discount right now. Some of them are 25%, some of them are 50 some of them are 75%. And a few games over there piqued my interest, and I bought some. Unfortunately, those kind of video will never be up on the channel because they're kind of, um, Japanese, 
uh, storytelling games. You know what I mean, Amy? Yeah. Yeah. So they won't be on. They won't be on any channel. They're personal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but still, I do want to buy a few games like Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Oh. Honestly, I I have Bayonetta on the PlayStation Three. I have Bayonetta on the Wii U, and uh, Bayonetta on the Steam is about mm-hmm. quote unquote twenty dollars or twenty ringgit for me. But and, I mean, sorry? Bayonetta is quite underrated, don't you think? The thing is with Bayonetta. It's a really good game. It is really awesome. But the problem is, it didn't hit expectations. And when Sega wanted to publish, or when uh, Platinum wanted to produce that game, and try to find a publisher and whatnot, uh, Microsoft didn't want to, Sony didn't yeah. want to, and guess who said that they'll publish the game? Capcom. No. Wait, Nintendo. Did... Oh, sorry. Yep, like Nintendo out of all the companies that are, well, you just imagine. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I just say Capcom because I keep, I keep forgetting it's not Capcom, but the designer, yeah, he did some Capcom games before. That's why Devil I got confused. Cry. He did Devil May Cry. Yeah, yeah. of course, that's, of course, Devil May Cry, Resident Evil, yeah, Okami. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And that's why right. I, for a moment, my, my head automatically says Capcom. They say, oh no, it's not. Yeah, but still, um, Nintendo, Said that, hey bro, we'll help you publish the game. Oh no, I, I, uh, well, they'll help produce the game. Uh, and we'll give you money to, uh, do a concert exclusive. And, uh, here's money for Bayonetta 2. And also, uh, Platinum says, okay, cool, we'll do it. And then uh, also we'll do, uh, Bayonetta 1 remake. And in all honesty, Bayonetta 1, yeah. the best version of it is on the Wii U. Yeah, I know. The, the the load time is fast. Is is everything is good, and let's just say that the only reason why I bought a Wii U is because of Bayonetta. Wow, you, you know, I I kind of wanted to buy a Wii U. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's because for Fatal Frame Five. Ah, yeah. I I I'm so tempted. I mean, I I okay. What can I say? I'm a, some sort. You can say PC master race. So <laughs> I didn't buy. And so, and I was like, oh my god, I mean, I'm so tempted to buy Wii U just for the Fatal Frame, made on the black water. <laughs> uh, but I didn't think that they have an English release or American release, only British one. I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, but still, uh, well, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy, but don't buy because there's the Switch. You better go get a Switch. Oh, but so far the way I see it, okay, whenever I get a console, it's based what game I wanted to play. Mm, true, true. The only reason I got a 3DS back then, because I want to play Professor Layton mm. and Phoenix Wright mm-hmm. so badly. Alright, yeah. And after that, console, then I say, ah, oh, can I just look whatever game I can get? But so far, Switch, there's no game I feel like I wanted to play that can motivate me to get it yeah. yet. I understand that, I understand that. It's... It's for me, like, what well, I mentioned before, for me to get a Wii U is just because of Bayonetta. Bayonetta is the bomb. Like, girl, she is Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah it's like, for me now, it's usually, fat, it's, I feel like Fat of Frame 5 is I me, mean, it's, it's calling me. I'm just, the only reason I managed to hold back is my wallet. Yeah, and also PC Master Race. PC has a lot of good games. I just, I just, I just spend money for the Black Sunday. A Black Friday. <laughs> what did you buy, by the way? Oh, I cannot stand. You, you, we didn't. Oh, wow. You need to add me on your uh, Steam friend list so I can check it out what you bought. Oh, sure. We, we'll do sure. that later. We'll do that later. Yeah, I would add, I will add you yeah. later. Because I'm, I'm planning to do some gaming afterward. Oh, yay. So, that's cool. So, anywho, um, with, with that, I think that's what we've been doing all week because uh, technically we did nothing. Except oh, what, tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, yes. What are you going to do tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you up to? For me, I'll be just doing uh, MBS show recording of the... Oh, yeah. You're uh, going to edit all this? No, no. The, this one is going to be soon after this. But um, as for the day tomorrow, uh, I'll be just doing the MBS show reviews and discussion podcast. Um, have to do episode 15 and I also have to do uh, one of the comics. So yeah, that's going to be that for tomorrow with Silver Quill and Sapphire Heart Songs. 
so look forward to it i guess it's going to be out soonish um other than that mm-hmm. uh, nothing much on my end what about you last minute i just received a message that there tomorrow there's going to be a small meet up with dolls uh-huh. collectors i used to talk about it and i have to go because uh i there is someone i need to meet regarding my doll and another person is she the one asked me buy quite a number of stuff on jalan-jalan japan so, <laughs> so yeah if i go money. tomorrow i can get my money fast yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah and then i have to teach my fan art do you guys know jason ritter not really did you watch gravity falls yes the voice of deeper oh yeah Yeah, he actually asked me to do his fan art after he saw one of my work. So I have to finish one fan art and send to him later. Okay, I, I, I okay, I, I, okay, you, you can, I, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs> Where well, you go meet, come on. I'm, he just asked me, but I didn't meet him. You meet, uh, no, no, you no. meet Apple Bloom. You meet Apple Bloom. I am so jealous. Yeah, still. <laughs> Meeting Apple Bloom is one thing, but. <laughs> <laughs> you meet Apple Bloom. I, I, that guy, I didn't man. He just sent me a video and say hello. Can I, can I have, uh, you do the artwork for me? I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I, 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 I was delayed for one week plus. I said, oh my god, I have to do it tomorrow. I, I need oh to god. Why are you keeping me for waiting? No, I, first of all, I cannot forget. And I have so many things happen in the past few, in the past few days. So I finally, I put on my desktop a sticky note with caps lock. Jason up, fan up. Forget. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna tell all my Gravity Falls friends about this, and they're going to. <laughs> I, actually, because I I know someone who actually working on his show right now is Kevin probably save the world, yeah. and he said to me, "Do you want to say hi to him?" And then I thought he was playing around. I said, "Yeah." And then what do you tell him? Oh, I love his work in Gravity Falls and few stuff. And his father also legendary. His father John Ritter was in the original Eat. The original eat, uh, mm-hmm. and then his father is is also in a a three's company. It's a, my father's favorite show. <laughs> right. So I say a few things, and he actually sh- because I actually told him a message. He actually showed the message to Jason. <laughs> uh, I almost fainted, and then because you know that the time zone mm. different, it was 5 a.m. when I heard the message. I watching, and then I cannot sleep until I go to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that, that, there's a lot for you tomorrow. So. Uh, <laughs> we'll be expecting a fan work soon in So if it's not done, we'll, we'll hunt you down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna force myself tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, I will, I will keep it update. Don't worry. I'll let, I will let you know. Alrighty then. So any. Actually, uh, actually the video he said hi to me is there in my Facebook. My friend actually posted on my page. I thought I want to keep quiet. <laughs> you can uh, find it. It's somewhere there. I was like, Oh my god, what are you uh, doing? Alright, alright. <laughs> I'm so pricey right now. <laughs> alright, alright. So, anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or, questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themvsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show, and my personal account is at Norman Sanzo. Amy, where can the good people find you? I'm almost everywhere. I'm in Twitter, I'm in Instagram. I even have my uh, Facebook page. Just type Ely Caridor. You can see me. Yeah, yeah. I can, I'll be in my blog spot, my Divan Art. Yep, yep. Okay, and I'll put everything into the show notes. All right, yeah. Then. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvLive.com. Links are in the show notes. And also, please subscribe to our latest endeavor, the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll get me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song review, the My Little Pony episodes, comics, movies, and also we do things like reviews of other cartoon shows and talk about other things like other cartoon shows. And uh, you know what? We do a lot of things that I can't remember right now. All I do know is that we have a lot of crazy fun. And also, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. Over there, with every support, you'll get early access to the review and discussion podcast. You also get 
access to deleted content and exclusives, and also a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I'd like to thank Lurker Cat, Emdricatorius, Starstream, Master Lag, and also you, Amy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> so, I have been Norman Sanzo. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy, and I try to speak a lot slower today. <laughs> It's not your fault. I blame Discord for everything. Anyway. Yeah, not not only that. I I've been listening to my first podcast with you guys, and oh my god. <laughs> uh, I, I mean the prob- Yeah, the problem is in my head. I think I sound cool, but when I listen <laughs> to myself, when I listen to myself, I say I sound like. Uh, welcome to bad. My, welcome to my life. Welcome to my life. So anywho, we'll guys see you next week. See ya. Yeah, next time. <laughs> bye bye.